Greetings all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends. A warm welcome to all of you from your past reality. The Believer's Secret of the Abiding Presence, Chapter 25. We're almost at the end of this devotional broadcasting, at least of this series. Today we're going to talk about filled with the Spirit. And it's such a beautiful scripture I'm going to read to you now from Ephesians 5, 18 to 20. Be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. If the expression filled with the Spirit pertained only to the story of Pentecost, we might naturally think that it was something special and not meant for ordinary life. But our text teaches us the great lesson that it is meant for every Christian and for every day's life. To realize this more fully, Think of what the Holy Spirit was in Christ Jesus and under what conditions he, as man, was filled with the Spirit. He received the Spirit when he was praying and he yielded himself as a sacrifice to God in going down into the sinner's baptism. Full of the Holy Spirit, he was led to the 40 days of fasting sacrificing the needs of his body to be free for fellowship with the Father and the victory of Satan. He even refused, when he was hungry, to listen to the temptation of the evil one to use his power to make breath to supply his hunger. He was led by the Spirit all through life until he, by the eternal Spirit, offered himself without blemish unto God. In Christ, the Spirit meant prayer, obedience, and sacrifice. Even so we, if we are to follow Christ, to have his mind in us, to live out of his life, we must seek to regard the fullness of the Spirit as a daily supply, a daily provision. If we are to live the life of obedience, of joy, of self-sacrifice, and of power for service, we must be filled with the Spirit. There may be occasions when that fullness of the Lord, of the Spirit I mean, will become especially manifested to us. But every day and all the day, it is only as we are led by the Spirit that we can abide in Christ Jesus. Conquer the flesh and the world. Live our lives with God in prayer and live with our fellow men in humble, holy, fruitful service. Above all, only when we are filled with the Spirit can these words of Jesus be fully understood and experienced. And surely, I will be with you always. He does not say, I'm going to take a time off. No, he says, And surely, with the full promise of the goddess, uh, surely I will be with you always. Let no one think this is too high, that this is impossible. What is impossible with us is possible with God. And if we cannot attain to it at once, let us at least make it in an act of holy decision our definite aim. Our unceasing prayer, our childlike expectation, I will be with you always, was meant for daily life but only with the sure and all-sufficient aid of that blessed Spirit of whom Jesus was praying, 
and he yielded himself as a sacrifice to God in going down. And he said, whoever believes in me, as the scriptures have said, streams of living water will flow within him. John 7, 38. Our faith in Christ will be the measure of our fullness of the Spirit. The measure of the power of the Spirit in us will be the measure of our experience in the presence of Christ. The practices of the presence of God. You can be with God even when you are not at church. Remember, God omnipotence, God omnipresence, always. God is not hiding himself. You may talk with him in your heart whenever you retire from time to time to converse with him in meekness, humility, and love. Everyone is capable of family conversations with God, some more, some less. He knows what you can do and begin then. Perhaps God expects you to make but one generous resolution. Have courage. You have but little time to live. Live and die with God. Suffering will be sweet and pleasant to you while you are with God. However, the greatest pleasure will be as cruel punishment to you if you are without Him. Become accustomed to worship Him by degrees, to beg Him for His grace. Offer God your heart from time to time in the midst of your businessness. Even every morning, if you, even in every moment, if you can, do not confine yourself to certain rules or particular forms of devotion, but act always with a general confidence in God and with love and humility. Be just you, my beautiful people. Be just you. Because remember, Psalm 139 expresses everything what you are and how God is looking at you and where He is. You go up, He is there. You go down, He is there. Left, right, He is everywhere. And He knows you. Pray with me. Dear Father, thank You for promising us that by Your grace and through faith in Your Son we might be cleansed from our sins and filled with Your Spirit. We intend to obey you in everything as we prayfully read the scriptures and seek your will. Empower us by your Spirit to do so. Amen. My dear ones, I even strongly believe that if you don't experience God, if you doubt, if your faith having trouble, or you don't even take time with God, whatever is going on in your life, these are realities. I still believe. I still do believe that He's taking care of you. Because when you walk, as Psalm 23 is saying, when you walk in the valley, of darkness in the dead valley he will bring you to green pastures but it's not just jumping over something and you're there it's a life in progress and God is right in the middle don't hide yourself because if we read in the narrative story of Genesis that God was calling out to Adam, Adam, where are you? And Adam, if you translate the word in Adam, is earthling. You, Adam, in Hebrew. Why do you hide yourself? Why? Be yourself, my dear ones. He is there for you. 
Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. Have a very, very nice weekend. And we meet each other on Monday. And I already told in the other broadcasting that I will search for another broadcasting, but that will be for next week. So I have to take time for that. I will. May you find peace within. The most important peace that God can give you is the indwelling spirit of God more and more and God's peace. Like he came in the room with his disciples, Jesus, and said, peace be with you. I have to say to each other, and also with you. Blessings, my dear ones. Bye.